The lip plate piercing has been popular among the Mursi and Surma women of Ethiopia. This specialized body art signifies the passage of a girl to womanhood ready to be picked up by the suitors. The upper lip is left free but it is the lower lip that bears the brunt. Mursi lip plates have a powerful social, physical and psychological impact upon the entire women folk. Those who don't wear it for age restrictions know it well that affliction is inescapable. The ritual or tradition starts at the age of a teenager when she is 15 years old and continues till the maximum stretches reach. The piercing continues for months from a small coin to the maximum size that is possible for the lips. Mostly starts from the small age the lip skin layers loosen with a hole that is enlarged and hung. It is a sign of being a female member of their tribe. Till the age of marriage, the lips plate should be properly fitting in the lips. The lip plate carries a number of meanings. Firstly, it's a symbol of great beauty. Secondly, it marks a commitment to the husband because it is worn with great pride when serving him food. If the husband dies, the lip plate is removed since a woman's external beauty is said to fade after his death. Lastly, the plate is a powerful visual marker of Mursi identity. Without it, they run the risk of being mistaken for a member of another tribe. The size of the Mursi women's lip plate has a theoretical backup which is linked with the size of the bridal wealth. However, this correlation has been proved a very weak justification and researchers have refuted it saying in many cases the amount of wealth paid by the groom's family had long been decided before the bride's lips are cut. Another possible reason behind the lip plate cult is to save the women folk from the slave traders from the north. The debauchery of these men might put the Mursi women at the risk of being purchased and put to immoral use. Lip plates make the women folk unattractive. The disfigured lips are quite repulsive and the traders lose interest in Mursi women. However, Mursis themselves do not propound any theory or logic behind the practice. It is just a decorative piece of jewelry enhancing their social recognition. The lip plates or plugs are wooden made which is not at all light in weight. The ornament is worn has various creative and innovative designs on the wooden plate. Clay made round shaped lip plates are also worn but it is as heavier as wood or more. No doubt, the lip plate process is drawn out and very painful, taking some serious motivation to go through with particularly for the girls who achieve the size of 12 cm or more. However, although the initial 3 to 6 months are painful, once the lip has healed with the help of herbal ointments, there is no pain involved. It does inevitably affect their speech, but somehow not their ability to communicate and sing. On the plus side, the Mursi tribe lip plates are said to affect their gait and give them a certain grace as they slow the women down. The Mursi economy rests a lot on the barter trade. At the same time, there is a mounting need for cash. This compels the Mursi females to pose before the photographer tourists. Tourists see the lip plates of the Mursi as some classic tribal existence, that is relatively untouched by any civilization of fashion. Hence, they offer cash just to take photographs of them. The economy of the Mursi is also becoming increasingly dependent on market exchange. This consequently makes them willing to allow themselves to be photographed by tourists in exchange for some amount. Lip plates of Mursi women can be viewed from a different angle altogether. It is an icon of adulthood, a social approval for marriage and many more. Leave your comments below. Take care and be safe.